Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm so excited today to be talking about my top 13 productivity tools and tricks for mental focus and speed and just making your life easier and faster. Now, as someone who has ADHD and is an online entrepreneur, I have to utilize a lot of tools in order for me to stay on focus, know exactly what to do next in my business, in my life. And I've done a couple of videos on my YouTube channel about how I use Notion. I am gonna be talking about that a little bit today, but I'm gonna be talking about some other tools, kind of just sharing some of my tips and tricks when it comes to productivity, because I find that's such an important topic because you know you wanna be um, as productive as possible. So let's just get started. So let's just get started with number one. I have my Amazon Echo Dot. This is a program that I have, I have two of them actually, where I have them sat in my office and then in my bedroom. And what I do is I use it actually to tell me when I have an event on my calendar. I have synced it up with Google Calendar, so every 10 minutes before any event, I will get a notification from my Echo Dot that there is something coming up, and it really helps me stay focused, especially if I have an important meeting. It lets me know I don't have to worry about missing it because I will be notified. So I use my Amazon Echo for a lot of different things, but I think for getting important event updates, that's a super big one. Also, just anytime I get an Amazon package, I get a notification. If there's somebody at the door with our ring system, I feel like I'm very, very much trying to make myself as smart as possible because again, I forget to do a lot of these things. So using my Echo Dot to really make my life easier has been a super helpful over the past year. Okay, so the second thing that I have is I use my Google Calendar. Now I've synced this with my iCal, so I have it on my MacBook, but I also use it for a ton of different things like planning ahead. So I even put breakfast, lunch, and dinner on there if I'm doing an exercise of the day, as well as obviously all of my meetings and coaching clients or even scheduling out this podcast slash YouTube channel. So that is something that I also use a lot. And if you're not using a digital calendar and maybe just doing a planner or something, I recommend checking it out because it's great to get alerts when things are happening. Sometimes I forget to check things if it's on paper. So if you are more of a paper planner, I highly recommend maybe somehow incorporating a Google Planner in there as well, especially if it's recurring events that happen every week. It's a really great way to just let yourself know, especially if you're if you're very forgetful like I am. So I use Google Calendar so much that it's, I can't even imagine not using it. So that's number two. All right, so the third thing that I use, and this is what I use for almost everything, and that's why I wasn't sure, you know, where to put this on the list, but is Notion. So. If you have been watching my YouTube channel or listening to my podcast, I have mentioned Notion a couple times. And what I love about it is that it does everything. It does everything in my life. I plan content. I take notes from books that I've been reading. I plan my outfits, my meals, everything that needs to be planned or archived. So I also have all of my archives of old blogging content, podcast episodes, YouTube videos, everything that I've ever recorded or done, I have put into Notion. Now I use this so much that it's kind of unhealthy, but <laughs> um, this has become my way of tracking my life and also my productivity. So when I know I need to do something, I go into Notion and I go into that page or that table that I'm trying to finish something. And that leads me into number four, which is the concept that I came across about two months ago on YouTube, and it's called the PPV system, uh, Pillars, Pipelines, and Vaults. And it was started by a man named August Bradley. Now, this system changed my life dramatically because before I found PPV, I was all over the place in terms of how I connected and interconnected all the pieces of my life. And what I love about this system is it's, it's using systems thinking, which basically puts your life into systems. Um, if you've ever read the book Atomic Habits, what he talks about is that you don't need goals, you need systems. And August Bradley's PPV has been the most effective system I've ever found ever. And I've tried a ton. I've tried a ton of project management tools. I have tried a ton of different books and things that I've tried to, you know, the getting things done method or the para method. There's all these different time productivity management tools that I've used. And this one is by far the most effective for me. 
I use it the way that I need to and so I've definitely customized it and I do have some videos on my YouTube channel where I talk about August Bradley and how I use his system. So if you haven't figured out a productivity system for yourself, I highly recommend checking out both my videos and his videos to kind of get a sense of what it, what it shows. He's got like about 30 videos that show all the different steps. But I would just recommend watching his first one and I can put that link in the bio. Um, that one really, really uh, kind of gives you an overarching map of how it works. Now, I've talked about this in one of my other videos, but I have now applied his pillar system into other parts of my life, into my Google Photos and Google Drive, into my Apple Notes, basically sorting my Gmail, sorting everything into these almost pillars in my life. I also have been utilizing a lot of his things just in Notion and it's just an amazing system. So if you're looking for something to really help you narrow down what your goals are, what your to-do and action items list are, the other thing that, br that was brought to me um, with this is the idea of having a knowledge base. And this has completely changed my life. This is gonna help you be more productive if you're looking for something and you're like, well, you know, I, you know, I thought I learned that one time. Creating a knowledge base inside of Notion or inside of whatever project management tool you have where you would just put a bunch of documents or information, notes, PDFs, videos about a specific topic so you can reference it. It's like having your brain inside of a piece of technology. I have started using this so much because I always, you know, forget things or I'm like, I remember I learned about that, but I don't remember what the link is. This has been literally life changing. So creating a knowledge base within a project management tool to be able to look things up has been so helpful. All right. So number five, this is a tool that I honestly don't know how I would do without. I think it has sped up so much in my life and that is Otter. I've mentioned this before because I use it all the time, but Otter, I paid $10 a month for it. I highly think it's worth it. I think it's amazing. It's basically an auto dictation service. So I use it in a couple of different ways. Number one, if I'm just talking, 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 and I just need all my thoughts to be written down, I use Otter. Uh, I'm much faster at talking than I am typing, so it helps me kind of organize my thoughts as I'm speaking them out loud. I also can input any audio, so whether it's an MP3 of my podcast, I can download a YouTube video and have it transcribed. I can import coaching sessions and have them be transcribed. There's so many ways to use it that it's quite insane. I've used this probably for about two years now. I remember I discovered it, yeah, I think it was about two years ago, and it's completely changed my life. I've transcribed all of my podcast episodes, so I have those written out. There's just so many ways that Otter has really, really changed my life. So if you haven't checked out Otter, I think they have a, you can start for free and they have a limited number of like minutes you can do a month. I totally overdo it every month, so I pay for it, but highly recommend Otter. It's an app as well as a website. All right, number six, this is a really important one if you get off track and you're on your you know, computer, if you're on a Mac, I use an app called OneFocus, which actually blocks certain websites from being able to be found. The reason I do this is I tend to go on YouTube or Netflix or Facebook, and if I'm not supposed to be on there, <laughs> it forcibly tells me to not be on there. You can set it for a certain number of minutes and it completely blocks your access from those sites. Kind of like how schools do it, where you can't access certain websites. It's for your own good. You can sort of do this on an iPhone with the screen time feature where it kind of like tells you not to go on, but they can't 100% block you from going on. This 100% blocks you from being able to access any of those websites. Um, so I highly recommend OneFocus. I used to use one, a different one, but this one I like a little bit better. It's, it's, it's more updated and great. All right, number seven is I just got a new alarm clock. Now, the reason I bought this was I was reading a book and they said, you know, don't check your phone first thing in the morning. And I have yet to start doing this, but I did buy an alarm clock because I'm like, you know what? I could charge my phone um, in my office overnight and then use my alarm clock to wake me up. I also use my Echo or as well. So I just bought it. I still have to learn how the alarm works, but this is gonna be helpful for me to get up and be able to work without having to, uh, you know, just rely on my phone first thing when I wake up. So that's something that I recently purchased that I'm really excited to start using more. All right, so number eight, I use a ton of Chrome extensions. I know I have a blog post and maybe a couple of TikToks about these, but there's some really good ones for productivity. 
a lot of them again are shortcuts. So one of my favorites is called One Tab. Have you ever like been on Chrome and you just have like 800 tabs open? I love One Tab because all I do is I click it and then it automatically like goes zoop and all of them go and they save them basically almost into like a bookmark and then you can reopen whichever tabs you want. It's really helpful if I have way too many tabs open and want to save them and bookmark them um, and go back to them. So one tab is one of my favorites. I also really like using things like the pin it button or Notion actually has a shortcut one as well. I also use a lot of things to kind of quickly find things. One of my favorites is called uh, what the font, which helps me know what fonts. Uh, Built With is a great one. I just use a ton of Chrome extensions. So, so I'll hopefully make a video or, or, or podcast or something about Chrome extensions because there's so many good ones. Highly recommend if you haven't uh, looked into those. All right, number nine. This is really important for your email. Now I use Gmail, which allows me to uh, filter messages. One of the things that's made me really productive is filtering and adding tags as well as colored tags to my Gmail. So if I'm on my, you know, looking at my email, I can see based off of color, I've used again the pillar systems from PPV to know exactly what the email is as it comes in. And then I use a app called Unroll Me, which has been super helpful. If you get inundated by email subscriptions, this is a must install. What it does is you can actually roll up your emails, um, especially the ones that you are subscribed to, and it will just send you one email every day. Super helpful for clearing your inbox, keeping you focused and productive. All right, number 10. These are just things that have helped me with eating, so food productivity hacks. Um, again, for me, food is something I've struggled with my whole life, whether it's making it, eating it, liking it. This past year, I've spent more time than I think I ever have in my life trying to get better at eating and cooking. So the things that have really helped me this year are number one, my Instant Pot, and then I also bought an air fryer lid, and then also my blender. I've been making a ton of smoothies this year, and so those are two things that I have personally used a ton. And so that's something that if you are able to speed up the time it takes for you to make food, that is an important one. I also have like a uh, kettle that I use for tea so that I don't have to burn myself on the microwave. So that's something that I also have purchased in the last couple years and has made my life a lot more productive because it's quicker to make items. So number 11 is some of the fitness and, and more health and, and lifestyle things that I've really come to love. Maybe not so much productive, but for me, I think they're helpful um, in just making your mind more aware. Obviously, I take a lot of supplements, and that has been really helpful for me. I might do another video on supplements, but I, have a, I take a ton of them. <laughs> and then the other one is, lately I've been doing this program using the fitness routine called Sir Namaskars. It's a YouTube video that I watched that is a 12-step yoga routine and I try to do 108 every day. It takes me about 45 minutes to an hour to do this and I don't do it every single day but when I do it's extremely difficult and very very uh, challenging but also obviously good for you because uh, my heart rate goes up. I, I actually use my Apple Watch. That's the other thing I didn't mention, Apple Watch. I use my Apple Watch to track a lot of things so that's something that I also use every day to kind of track my fitness and where I'm at. Another thing that I purchased this year that's been really helpful, it's kept me from be having to go to the chiropractor more, is buying a massage gun. Massage gun, it was like $75, totally worth it. I use it every single week because I have a really sore back. And so for me, being able to use massage gun has been so helpful. And then the last thing that I've been doing is cold showers and ice baths. Um, I also use a sauna. The place where I go to, the gym I go to in Minneapolis has a sauna and an ice bath, and I've been really getting into that. It's so good for you. The hot and cold therapy is amazing. So all of that has kept me, you know, trying to get more in shape because again, remember, the more in shape you are, the more you're focused, the more you are able to um, utilize your brain power. Also, drink water. All right, the last two. Number 12 is using Spotify. I use Spotify to listen to my podcasts. I listen to a bunch of podcasts as well as music. And this has been really helpful. I love the playlist that they have on there for keeping me on track and focus. Sometimes I can work while listening to a podcast, sometimes not. Sometimes I just have to listen to music. But personally, I think that this helps me stay productive. I think that 
you know, some people, I, I also like to sometimes go to coffee shops or something and hear people talking. The ambiance really helps me focus, but listening to a podcast or um, music on Spotify has been really helpful. Um, you can follow me on Spotify, see what I'm listening to, see what podcast I'm following. I don't know if that shows up, but <laughs> that's something else that I do. All right, and the final one that has been so helpful for me with productivity is using Google Photos and Google Drive. Now, Google Photos has been my go-to photo storage for years. Recently, they just announced that they aren't doing Unlimited, which really sucks, but I am paying for Google anyway, so I haven't hit my limit yet. But this is really helpful because there's a couple ways it's helpful. Number one, I have all of my images and photos and videos I've ever taken. So if I needed to search for something, I can look by date or even by keyword because actually what's cool about Google Photos is that it's smart and can actually look up anything. So if I typed in dog, it would find every single photo or video of a dog I've ever taken. So that's really helpful if I'm looking for content to be able to look through my Google Photos and I have spent a ton of time uploading everything there. Also, they have a really cool feature I had never used before until recently. If you take a picture of like a book or a sign, you can press a button and it will automatically read whatever text is on that book or sign and you can copy and paste it into whatever, into your notes, I put it into Notion. They are also coming out with this on Apple very soon in Apple Photos. So this is a new feature that's gonna be coming to Apple. It's called like live text, I think is what they call it. Um, but it's really cool. It's, I think it's called Google, it's a Google camera. It's, it's one of those things on the Google Photos app. It's amazing, I use it all the time. I use it every single day. It's so helpful for me to be able to organize and find old content. So if you're not storing your videos and photos in the cloud, highly recommend it. I love Google Photos, it's my favorite app I found. Also, Google Drive is great for more like documents. I wouldn't recommend storing videos and photos in Google Drive because it takes up so much space and you can just put them in Google Photos. Uh, so that's something that I've also been using as well. So anyways, I hope that this was helpful for you guys. I hope that you guys got something out of this and that you learned something new today. Maybe you're gonna try a new app or a new uh, piece of technology. I'm very into tech and this is something that I'm working more and more on is marketing automation, utilizing Notion with my clients, figuring out how to put all this together as someone who has ADHD and is an online entrepreneur. Make sure to subscribe to my podcast and subscribe to me on YouTube and make sure to comment what your favorites are because I'd love to hear from you. So send me a DM on Instagram or make sure if you're in the Twin Cities, join my Facebook group. I'd love to see you in there. All right, have a great day, guys.